Welcome to Sandwich Seniority. I'm Robbie Haig, your host, and it's my pleasure today to be talking with our very own uh, Paula Johnson, who is Executive Director of uh, Sandwich Cable TV. Thank you for appearing on the show with me today. Well, thank you for having me today. It's my pleasure. Yes. It's wonderful. I generally like to get a little background on uh, my guests to uh, see whatever it is you want to talk about. How did you get to be here? What Was this something you've always wanted to do, be a, a part of a... Not really. No, yeah. I just kind of, it just is probably a culmination of a, a lot of my interests. You know, I, I worked for New England Telephone for years, and I worked in the engineering department. I worked outside. Um, I had my own business in design. I love movies and TV. Yeah. And then I was on the board here for years, and it just happened that um, we just uh, changed things up about three years ago. And here we are today. And I think, you know, a lot of changes. Uh, the industry is changing. It's, it's not the old cable access it used to be. Right. And um, just now with all the uh, digital equipment and the, um, you know, all the different options with the internet and the Roku live streaming and all that. It's just, um, it's a very exciting time. I think that people also are more used to, uh, because the, the generation that's coming up now is a lot more familiar with the equipment and with cameras and, right. and they, 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 they create their own style at a very early age, it seems. So that's why um, it's really exciting that we have the, the studio at the high school, too. And oh, that's very interesting. Yeah. Would you like to talk a little bit about that? Yeah, yeah. I just, um, we started, it's always been there in 1974, I believe it was 1974 when the school was built. They had the vision to create a radio bay and a complete studio. It's a, it's a full st studio space mm -hmm. and a green room, a, a producer's booth and then a control room and an editing, editing suite. Wow. Yeah, right within the high school. And I guess it was active in the beginning. In fact, some kids I've heard like from way back, um, you know, went to film school and they attributed that because of the studio. Yeah, and they had made videos that they used for their college applications. And so that was that. And then somehow it kind of fell off the grid. I think that um, there, was, there wasn't a teacher there to, to drive the program. And then um, it was revived, I think, uh, probably about eight to ten years ago for one year, and then that teacher left. Mm. And then it just wasn't, it just was dormant. And mm. when we started here about a few years ago, um, we made a decision that even though there were just two or three of us at that point, that we really need to do something to make that, that happen, because it was just, it was too valuable a resource just to have it just sit there like that. And, and it's the way of the world. Right. Well, it's also like, you know, that not everybody's an athlete, not everyone's a scholar. And it's not that the kids right. that are involved in this aren't that, too. Right. But it, it could be one or two kids that that's what makes them go to school every day, sure. is that, that they have that after school to go. So we created this after school program. And we kind of limped along the first year. And Ellen Boris and the administration was wonderful. They just welcomed us with open arms, you know, right. which was great. And so. We did that after school, and the kids would come in, and we got a nice group of, of kids who are still with us, and they called themselves the Blue Crew, oh, okay. and they would volunteer to do town meeting, and they were in the parade this past Fourth of July, and they're just a wonderful, wonderful group of, of kids. Um, and then the second year, we did the same thing. We were there after school, and then Ellen, um, you know, we would talk, talk back and forth, and she could see that we were there to stay, you know, that we were committed to the, the high school media right. center. And this summer, she had the opportunity to hire someone with that in mind, with that skill set in mind. And she hired Beautiful. this great guy, um, Scott Childress, who's the, he teaches broadcast journalism and um, I think it's documentary filmmaking. And it's the whole year, it's a 90 minute block. And what wow. we do is we go up and we, we're the technical support. And he'll mm -hmm. send half the class in there while he's still teaching the class method and all that. And, um, Jan or Rob will go up and help him with that end. So it's worked out really well. In fact, right. they're just starting this, they're gonna have the, the nightly news and it's the, the Sandwich Nights, it's a play on words. Oh, very good. And yeah, and it's all different aspects of uh, high school life and even outside of that, you know, current events and they'll have all these different segments and the kids will work on that. And, and I'm sure with the kids you get a lot of different ideas too about Oh, yeah. new and innovative things. Yeah, that's what's exciting about Isn't the kids. Great? I mean, all you do is give them like a, a a kernel of an idea and then they just take off with it. That's wonderful. Yeah. Well, you've made it very exciting here in the studio. Since I've been coming here, it's, things have really taken off. 
Oh, thanks. You know, yeah. to do the show early in the morning and, and then have it uh, streamed by afternoon. Uh, of course, um, I realize that you do have people working with you. Well, that is because of our very talented and very hardworking staff. You yes. know, we have Jennifer McGrail, who's, our, I'd say, our chief editor at this point. She's creative development, we call it. And um, she she's, she's, yeah, she's amazing. Yeah, she can yeah. do anything. And as all of them t can, Rob Vinciguerra, very talented man. I mean, anything you ask him to do, he can do. And he, they're all so enthusiastic. Andrew Eaton is a very um, talented guy. I know he does all our government meetings. Plus, he went to Full Sail for editing. So he's the one that we go to when we're really stuck with a technical problem or a system problem. We go to Andrew, and Andrew can figure it out for us. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we're, we're very, very fortunate who we have working here. And it's definitely a team effort because it's just the four of us and we've taken on a lot. Mm -hmm. So everybody just, you know, they give their all every day. Mm -hmm. And I've learned also that you're very community oriented. Yes, yes. Extremely. Well, it's, it is a, about community. I mean, that's why we're it here. Mm -hmm. You know, that we exist because and for the community mm -hmm. and for them to express themselves. And also, I, I think our mission too is to bring um, things that you might not see in the community that are happening to the people out there, not only on TV but online. We have all different options for people seeing things because mm -hmm. the technology has changed so much. It's not just about TV anymore. You know, it's about the video on demand and people being able to go back and see things again or just portions of things or see them um, on YouTube. And then we also, our live stream is on the a Roku channel, so even if people don't get the TV part of Comcast, they can go on and stream it on a Roku channel. Or on the what is that again? Well, what? it's a Tel Telview is the, the server that we have here, and they actually, it's a, a Roku channel, and it's, it's streaming television, it's mm -hmm. online, and they carry all the people that um, are clients of theirs, they cover their live stream that we have on our, our website. They, they carry that on their Roku channel that's okay. on this live stream. And what is your website that uh, they can go on to? Well, we're sandwichtv.org, and we have all the programs that we've made from March of 2010 on, all the business wow. meetings, all our local programming, anything we've ever produced is on wow. there. Yeah, it's a nice archive, and it, it goes on forever. Excellent. I mean, they keep adding storage, so it's, it's going to be there forever as long as we're around. Very good. Yeah. And you also like to have people from the community come to you with happenings so that you can uh, let uh, the rest of the people out there know what's going on in the community. Right. Oh, as far as the bulletin board? As far as the bulletin board. Yes, we have the bulletin board and we really encourage people, nonprofits, um, and you know, the high school, the, I mean the uh, education, the schools, mm -hmm. to give us all that type of stuff, the churches, everyone, anything that's going on. And it, th we have an online bulletin board too, so it's not only on the three channels, but it's also online. So what you can do online, the beauty of the online bulletin board is that you can scroll ahead or look at the topic that you're looking for and just find out what's going on. You know, if you, if you want to know what's going on in the schools, if there's a play or whatever, you just scroll down to specific Wonderful. schools. Yeah, it's good. It's convenient. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we try, you know, we try, yeah. with, as Telview comes out with different products, that's again our server, we try to keep up with every product that they have because it's, it's really what people want, you know, mm -hmm. what they're looking for, you know, keep up with the technology. Excellent. And then speaking of which, we have new cameras, which we got pretty much probably almost, probably about six months ago. And with that, um, the, the logic behind that was the cameras were perfectly fine, what we had. But they were big and they were cumbersome and, you know, again, with the younger people coming up and also with women producers, you know, the other cameras were quite large and, and the big camera boxes were quite bulky. And I think people felt conspicuous. A lot of times that might have been a deterrent as far as them coming to get cameras and, and taking them out and recording things. But now these small XA-10 Canons, um, they're, they're very easy to use and more intuitive The people are used to um, with the, the, the screen and the buttons are pretty, pretty obvious, you know, how to use the camera. Mm -hmm. And also we don't use the tapes anymore and that was a cumbersome thing too because people not only if they went out and recorded a community event, they'd have to come back and go to the deck and transfer everything and now you just plug it into your computer, you can do it at home. Wow. And if you have an editing program at home, you can do it at home. 
Yeah. Excellent. So, but of course, we get the programming because if you use our cameras, it yes, goes on TV. Absolutely, and yeah. that's one of the prerequisites. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Now, do you have a lot of community uh, activity out there? People coming in to uh, get your cameras to do outside yeah, events. Yeah. Yeah, they, they do. This. Um, there's probably there's pro probably about four or five people that are active producers like that, and then you get the occasional call, and we get requests too. Which, if it's during work hours or something that someone volunteers to do, we can we can cover things. But we encourage people to come in themselves because, like I said, it a very short as long as you're a member, you just so that's for insurance purposes. Very we just good. Mm -hmm. we just ask people to um, sign up, and then. Um, it probably takes maybe five or ten minutes for us to show them how to use the camera, mm -hmm. you know. And then we, we say we're always available to them. So we give our cell phones if they get caught on anything, they can give one of us a call, no matter what time it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we've, it's worked out pretty well. So when you uh, let them take the cameras out, is there a charge for that? Oh no, nothing. There's no charge. There's a, the one charge, the twenty-five dollars for um, membership. And again, that's just for insurance. I mean, really, we wouldn't even charge people membership, but it just gives us, um, if something happened to the, the equipment, we'd have something to fall back on. But um, there's no charge for anything here, no. It's all free. That's because wonderful. Because we're funded by, you know, it's, it's subscriber um, through Comcast. It's on their bill. Mm -hmm. And this is why this is their community um, television center, because it's because of the people in Sandwich that this is even here. And I don't believe there are a lot of people out there who know the basis of that. Right, right. You know, and that they can come in and learn how to use the cameras and right. do their thing if they so desire, if they right. have a thought. And a lot but of people have cameras now, but the thing about this is that if you really wanted to record something um, in a professional way or to have something that's lasting, um, we have all kinds of audio equipment and microphones and tripods and and we do have, you know, beautiful Mac editing systems here, and we will always help people. So it's just, it just isn't a nice finished product. But people had people come in and do memorials for, you know, loved ones that have passed on, and oh, really? yeah, all kinds of different projects. Mm -hmm. you, that's the, this the wonderful one of the wonderful things about being here is that you see all kinds of things, all kinds of projects, all kinds of interesting people, and yeah. Very good. Yeah. I know you were out in the community a few days ago decorating for the new season. Yes, and you were with me. Yes, a wonderful so Arabi. Fun. Yeah. Yeah, that was fun. It is it is it's a lot of work, but it's as long as there's a lot of volunteers and everyone takes their own little piece of it, it's That's it right. was nice. And also the weather was cooperating. Yes. I think it's very interesting to people in the community to know just who the elves are who go out to Put up these decorations. Right. A lot of people think it's the town, but it's actually the Chamber of Commerce okay. who, who decorate the town. But um, I am on the board of directors with the Chamber of Commerce, and I took on the um, decorating chair. And um, what we did was we brought them all back, and again, a wonderful staff fluffed mm -hmm. them all up, and we took all the old stuff off, and we put new things on, and Very good. got it all ready. Yeah. yeah. Looks quite lovely. Yeah, it is Even nice. Even as we were doing it, people were coming by with cameras to yeah, that's to fun. Tell us how uh, yeah how, how much fun it was. Right, and to thank, do. which is nice, you know. Sure. But it's it's such a beautiful downtown anyway. But um, especially with our event that's coming up, we wanted to make yes. it look extra special this year. Well, I was hoping you would mention why our friend was here between. Yes, the two of we us. have this large thing between us here. Um, this is uh, Allegro Leone. Yeah. And he is going to be uh, the, at the start of the parade, the Revels Parade at First Night Sandwich. Uh -huh. So sandwich, the Sandwich Chamber and Sandwich Community Television are co-sponsoring our first annual First Night Sandwich this year. Excellent. Yeah, and mm -hmm. it's, it's going to be quite the event. We hope um, it will go on for years to come. And when is it happening? Well, it's December 31st on New Year's Eve Day, mm -hmm. and it starts at 4 o'clock and it goes till 9, and it's a family friendly, non alcoholic event. And um, what is it? It's in the village of Sandwich. Uh, basically, that's where all the venues are. We have about, I think, now 35 to 40 performing artists of oh, all different how nice. types. Yeah. yeah. Musicians and um, singers and artists and the spoken word. and. There's even going to be a couple of artists um, painting a mural at, during the, the festivities in front of the Daniel Webster Inn. Oh, we yeah. have, um, I don't know how many blocks of ice, we'll have ice carvers doing Excellent. their thing. Yeah, all, all kinds of surprises, but um, 
So that would be uh, the different venues are the Danny Webster and the Glass Museum and Town Hall and the Thornton Burgess Museum and the Masons. And what will happen is uh, we'll just rotate every 40 minutes there'll be a performance and you'll get a program and you can just choose who, where you'd like to go. But you do have to buy a button. Uh -huh. And they're $10 for adults and $6 for children. And you can buy them online at uh, firstnightsandwich.com or there's various locations throughout town. If you look on our website, there's a list of many, many places that you can buy them. And it's good to buy them before the event, um, just so you can just oh, walk sure. in and just start right. seeing everything then. Yeah, yeah and uh, so then uh, at 6 o'clock, everything kind of slows down and stops because there'll be the Revels Parade. And that will start at the Wing School. And it's the opposite route from the 4th of July Parade. We'll go down Beale Street and then down Main Street. So Water Street will, you know, be the traffic won't be disrupted. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it's not going to be like the 4th of July Parade. It's more of like a Mardi Gras type thing. And then this guy here will be leading the way and he'll have a body that day. Oh, okay. And he'll be all lit so up and everything. So he'll truly be the happy lion. Yes, he'll be mm -hmm. a happy lion. And all kinds of uh, really creative, there's, there's gonna be crafts going on that day too at the Wing School oh, all day. And also even before the event, at the Children's Museum that they're going to be making crafts and masks and all types of things that people can wear during the parade. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's really something. And yeah. then Michael Magyar, um, oh, so that's from 6 to probably about 6.40, and that will stop at First Church. And then there'll be a couple more surprises there. And then um, at 9 o'clock, then people go back and see the performers again. They kind of filter back and mm -hmm. stuff. And then at 9 o'clock is the grand finale, which Michael Magyar, um, Rob Vinciguerra is the one who made this mask, by the way. He's a very talented guy, and his wife, Ellen, too. Yes. And <laughs> Ellen, uh, I believe, is the one who gave this wonderful thing a name. Yes, she named. Thing, a name. Yes. yes. Yeah. Uh, and he is very festive. He's gorgeous. He's beautiful. Look yeah. at him. He's incredible. Like I say, a man of many talents. And like yeah, I said, really? Ellen is always there. Um, so anyway, then everyone goes back and starts, you know, going around and seeing all the performers again. And then at nine o'clock is the grand finale, which Michael Magia is working on some wonderful thing, which I can only imagine with all those beautiful, have you seen the giants on 6A no, that he I does? No, I have not. Oh, you have to go down and see those. I mean, there was a, there's a pictorial essay in the Cape Cod Times today, and it mm -hmm. has all of them. He just did one for the high school, Blue Night, with, with students. It was a project that he worked with the kids on. And they're just something else. They're about 20 feet high. So anyway, we can only imagine what he's going to come up okay. with for the And what finale. are these? What oh, they're, um, they're made out of rebar. And because he's a sculptor, uh, okay. really, uh, that's what he went to school for, is, uh, to be a sculptor. And then he went into the glass. He's a glass blower now. And he has oh. the, um, the uh, studio, um, glass studio of Cape Cod on Route 6A. So, but he started making these. Um, I don't know what, oh, the first ones were the angels. There were two angels, two kids um, in town that passed away. He made these beautiful 20-foot um, angels, and it started with that. And now the Crow Farm has one, and um, Scenic Roots has one, and uh, Sand Dollar Realty. I don't know how many there are. I think there's, there oh. might be around 20 of them now. Really? Yeah. And are they on display all, all year round? No, they're just oh. around Christmas time. Some people oh. leave them up, but okay. um, yeah. Yeah, I imagine there would be. Uh, yeah, I think, you know, probably. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, the Boston TV stations might be coming down soon. We'll oh, see. Oh, well, that's good. Well, it's really, um, it's quite a thing. Sure. You know, to For drive down there. the oldest town on mm. the Cape. Right, right. Yeah, and the pride of being the oldest and right. best. Yeah. Yeah. So they, there's a lot downtown, too. There's, um, I think, um, but Old Man Winter or something is on the Weather Vane store, and then um, the Danny Webster has one, and the um, St. John's Church has one, and the Glass Museum has one too. Oh, and the library has one this year too. Oh, good. Yeah. So is there a possibility that he'll be making a new one? I don't this think Christmas? he'll make something permanent like that. Okay. It's something more that um, we could take away, you know. I know that there's, um, I heard last night that there might be some lit, candles like these paper lanterns that will be all over oh, the pond. Right. It's oh, going to be a visual experience, I'm sure. Oh, it sounds wonderful. Yeah, he's a very clever guy. Not to guy. be missed. Yeah. 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 Wow. So, what, uh, tell us of, uh, outside of first night and the season coming up, uh, other things that uh, happen here at 
Sandwich Community TV? Well, um, we're working on a, um, a regional fourth channel for the Cape, which really? will be, yeah, all the different, um, all the access centers on the Cape. We've been meeting since the summer, and um, I really can't give specifics right now, but it's, it's pretty exciting to think that there'd be a way to um, get the information out on a regional level. Very good. Yeah. What other local access uh, channels do you have here in the Cape? Well, there's um, Falmouth, and there's Mashpee, and there is, well, of course, us, and then there's the um, Mid Cape, and then there's the Lower Cape, and then there's Provincetown. Oh. Yeah, there's quite so a So you really are very well covered. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right to the tip. In fact, we have um, we've developed a relationship with Provincetown TV. Beth um, O'Rourke, the executive director down there, she's, she's great. I mean, they all are. They're all wonderful people. But we decided it would be a pretty cool thing to have, you know, this, the start of the Cape and the end of the Cape and try to bring our productions together. So we've gone down. We did a Cape conversation with Melinda Gallant, one of our producers, who's very, very wonderful and talented and very giving of her time and talent. And <coughs> we went, excuse me, went down and did a show down there. And we, plant, we, we have more in the works. And we wanted to do one on women's health, too. Oh, yeah. Okay. So. Very yeah, it is. Great. It's a good. Yeah, it is because well, and there's just you know there's very interesting pe people here in Sandwich, of course, but you know Provincetown has a treasure trove of eccentric, interesting, you know, people down there. So yeah. I thought it'd be fun for people that don't get down that way to to bring a bit of the end of the Cape up here. That's very good. Mm -hmm. And of course, we know there are people from all over who come down to Provincetown to see the. The wonderful things that go on down there. Right, right. It's beautiful down there. Yeah. We also have a project with the um, Historical Commission, and we work with um, Bill Daly and Don Bailey of that organization. And it's good. We the joke is that we'll keep making these little historical vignettes until we all fall over, <laughs> because there's so, so many stories to tell. But, there um, are. It's amazing. Oh, when yeah. you get into it, you realize more and more. Right, right. Yeah. It's really and they're, they're they're great to work with. Really enthusiastic. Don Bailey does our website too. He's he's quite 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 the guy. Um, but we just finished. Bob, Rob Vinciguerra was the uh, chief editor on that one, and they did a lot of the they did the historical research and help with the script. And it was called um, it's called the Building of the Canal, the Neapolitan Revolt. Yeah, and we also gave it to the it was our contribution to the uh, Cape Cod Centennial um, celebration that the access centers would would give them a, a little story a little production that they could put on their website, which they have. Oh, and I guess the Mass Office of Tourism has put it on their site, too. That's what oh, I heard. So yeah, it came out really well. We had a little debut at the town hall, at the, um, the commission's, the historical commission's annual meeting. And they played the production. It was very, very good. Wonderful. Yeah, so anyone can watch that on demand. We have it on TV. It debuted here on Thanksgiving night. Oh, excellent. And actually, a lot of the access centers on the Cape played it too at the same time we had eight o'clock on Thanksgiving night. So that was a nice coordinated effort. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah now the, the bridges are having a birthday, aren't they? Coming well it's up? the canal. The canal. Yeah, in mm -hmm. twenty fourteen. It's gonna be a hundred years. Wow. Yeah, so that's gonna be a huge celebration. It's a lot of background on that. Right. Yeah. So I know that um Wareham is working on a a production about the railroad bridge. Oh. So that should be they they do really yeah, good work yeah. over there, so that should be you know, interesting to see. Yeah. Mm. yeah. It's nice when people work together. It's Communi all about collaboration. And collaboration communication. and communication. Absolutely. Yes. That, yeah. That's what makes the world go around. It, it certainly does. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So what are some of the things that are on your mind to uh, progress? Well, we're always looking for new things, new ideas. Right now, this uh, fourth channel is, is an exciting um, venture. Right. But yeah, we just, um, we're so busy now with the school and you know, you don't know where that's gonna go. I mean, we have collaborations now. That one of our um, people that we associate with or collaborate with is Kevin Lassett. And um, he gives acting le lessons here on Monday night. And he also is um, working up at the high school um, on choreography, he does choreography. And I guess that they're going, he's going to help with the, um, the play this spring. I don't know whether he's directing. I think he's directing. And his wife, Melinda Lassett, is the choral director at the high school. Okay. So I see that being a, a wonderful relationship going forward as far as, you know, dovetailing with our, 
you know, uh, work at the media center, mm -hmm. and then getting involved with the theater, and just getting a lot more productions out of the school so people can see what goes on up there. Just a lot of, a lot of great Excellent. stuff. Excellent. Yeah. So and is this production something that happens every spring? Yeah, I think every year they have they have a, a play or something. I think mm -hmm. last year was Bye Bye Birdie. Maybe it was the year before. The years yeah. go by so fast. But um, yeah, it's just that's that's a, a big part of what we do. And, and we're you know involved with the business community. We um, produce a show here called the Sandwich Chamber Presents, and um, we we really like doing that. It's just mm -hmm. it's really interesting to go and meet the people and see what their business is about, and and try to help you know get get the word out about what what we actually have in town here. Like even the industrial park, that's a a project we'd like to work on going forward. Is like people have no idea how many businesses there are down here. There's right. hundreds of businesses down here, yeah. and just to bring them out because with a lot of these businesses they come in in the morning and they leave so you don't really you see them right but yeah we'd like to work on that mm. that's one of the things we'd like to do mm. so, so there's, there's a lot out there happening oh there's always something and coming you're down part the pike of the happenings yeah yeah, yeah, always yeah. something coming down the well, bike, you're right. The big thing now is um, the, the control room. We just totally stripped everything out of the control room, and we have all new equipment in there. And it's, um, you wouldn't even know the place. I mean, before it was like a room full of equipment, and now it's just three jumbo screens and a little, you know, server, a little, uh, not a server, but a switcher, a little computer. And um, so we have to learn how to use that, and then we have to teach everyone else how to use that. So that was that was a big change for yeah, us. Sure. Yeah. And I saw your little diorama of Santa out there watching. Yes, we're doing the sandwich the cable. Yeah, the stores and doors. Uh, the chamber encourages the businesses to do like a store front or uh, the door, decorate the door for Christmas okay. of the holidays. And um, yeah, we have a little Santa. And what it is is he's sitting. He's supposed to be doing his Santa thing, and he's so mesmerized by our local programming that he sits down and starts watching it so of course yeah if you come by you can see all our Christmas programs running endlessly on TV mm. very nice yeah. yeah it's wonderful mm. um, it's wonderful talking with you oh, it's and, nice uh, being here and thank you for all your work that you do here oh. too because you're one of our dedicated producers that we really appreciate all the work that you do and all the time well, you put I into thank it you for that. yeah but uh, it's very easy to to dedicate time to sandwich because it's quite a family. Mm. Oh, you know? thank you. There's always somebody willing and ready to do whatever needs to be done, and that, that's totally appreciated. Right. Well, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. We like to make it a welcoming place. Like I said, that we're it here is. for the community. I mean, mm -hmm. that's why we exist here. And you exude community mm -hmm. coming through the door, which is really wonderful. So. Um, they're very colorful, young, new young man who is sitting here between us. Mm -hmm. I, I say young man, but I'm sure it's unisex. Yes. Even though he's. Uh, I know. Why do we leaning? automatically think that that's a male? Well, I guess his mm -hmm. name is. Um, what was it? Leone. Al Allegra. It's uh, Allegra Leone. Allegra Leone. So yes. I guess it, it sounds like. It could a be mascot. Leo. It could be Leona. Yes, it could. But don't we always think of? Um, uh, faces like this is masculine. I guess. I don't know why. Maybe we'll it's have to fan. ask Rob what he was thinking <laughs> we'll when he ask made Rob, it. Yeah. Maybe with these little feathery <laughs> things, maybe he shouldn't be a male. Huh? No, he looks very festive, yeah. extremely, yeah, clever. So, um, so where is he going to be? He's going to start out in. He'll be um, again leading the parade mm -hmm. um, at six o'clock at the wing school, but it starts at four. Um, people are encouraged to buy their buttons now. Mm -hmm. um, you can buy them th all this locations throughout town and Mashpee, or you can buy them online at uh, firstnightsandwich.com. Mm -hmm. And also, if you'd like to volunteer for the event, you can also um, go to the website, and there's forms right on there, and they go right through, and they come to us. And also, performers too can yeah. um, fill out their form oh. online. So yeah, you're still open for more performers for the well, evening. Sure. You know, I, I haven't heard that we, we're not, so okay. we're having another meeting tonight, so I'll find out about that, and they'll say, why did you say that? But um, <laughs> I think that it's okay to say. Yeah. Um, but everything is, we have a beautiful site, again, that Don Bailey created for us that's really amazing that he's updating all the time. And there's some video on there to give people an idea of what the parade might look like, mm -hmm. um, because it, it is a different type of thing. A lot of light 
and sound. There'll be a lot of big sound there too. It's, it's just going to be a great event. I think it's really an amazingly wonderful thing to happen in Sandwich. It's something new, something that people can do on New Year's. So there wasn't really a lot around. Sure. And that's something that families can do and they can be home early enough if the adults want to do something else they can or um, if they just I'm not, they're not into staying up late, you know, on New Year's. Yeah, I but, think it's a wonderful idea. Oh, and to be entertained in your own town, to bring right, all this talent sure to the right. village is just, I think it's an amazing thing. Sure. And like I say, all the visual um, sights that you'll see is just, mm -hmm. you know, to have clever people working on all this stuff, which is really fortunate to have all these people in town yes. that are willing to volunteer yes. their time. Mm -hmm. So. And uh, Mr. Lyon, you said, is going to have a body that night? He will have a body. I, th I hear it's going to be a lit up body, too. Oh. Yes. Is it going to be a one person body? or? It oh, I think it might have to on, be a, a two, two person. Ah, I think okay. that's the plan. Very good. Yeah. So he, I guess Rob was asked by his wife if he was gonna, going to make another one, but he said that one was all he was doing this year. So okay. one is enough because he's he could beautiful. could always add. A, a Companion for yes. the second, third, and et cetera, et cetera. That's it's only going to get bigger and better. I That's think. Fantastic, mm. fantastic. Well, it's been an absolute pleasure talking with you, Paula. Oh, thank you, and, and you. Uh, oh, it's. I'm looking forward to all of the fun that's going to be happening here. Mm -hmm. And thank you all for being out there. And on behalf of uh, Sandwich Seniority, and of course Sandwich. Sandwich Access TV. Uh, we're always glad to have you be part of us and uh, we hope to see you again during the holiday season. We'll be out there. We hope you will be too. Thank you.